speed. Okay, Shirley, is you have something in common with Jim Carrey in that when you both first arrived in L.A., you didn't exactly stay in the best hotel in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the atmosphere like around the hotel that you were staying at? Wow, after lunch, that's my first question. <laughs> I got to give it to you. You came up with something completely different. <laughs> Gee, I can't use that. That would be too self-serving. <laughs> um, you know, I think it, 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 it's not an unusual thing. I think you, uh, you do what you have to do, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't really have a choice in the matter. I, I stayed, and it was, it was very sweet. It was a little, a little motel in Fairfax, and... It was right across from uh, uh, the farmer's market, which was really convenient because you can go and have a um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich for a buck fifty. So it was perfect. Now, one, one more question before we talk about the movie. I've always been fascinated with the jobs that actors go out for before mm -hmm. you know the movies and TV. Now, TV commercials. TV commercials are weird because in auditions they ask you to do weird things over and over again. Mm -hmm. Now, how successful were you? At auditioning for TV commercials? Not at all. I was actually, <clears throat> I was doing, I mean, I was trying to. I went out on auditions for commercials and modeling jobs up to after working on that thing you do with Tom Hanks. Yeah. And uh, Tom Hanks would rather cast me in his movie than, than uh, some lip balm commercial. <laughs> because, I mean, financially, I, I wasn't making any money on those movies. I still had to support myself. But I, I was not very lucky in the, the advertising world. I apparently don't have an a honest face. I can sell their products. Okay. okay well, 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 turning to this movie, I don't know if you know this, but Prince George, that's where they shot the first uh, Rambo film. Yeah, I was there. Or, yeah, for, no, it was the first Rambo film. Oh, okay. It was shot there, First Blood. Uh -huh. now, now, how big a celebrities were the cast and crew when you were shooting in that small town or city? Uh, we were... Uh, we were treated very nicely. It was uh, quite interesting because you drive to work every morning and hear every talk show, radio talk show, talk about, you know, what Ben was doing last night and how Charlize walked our dogs around the hotel and <laughs> Gary was hitting the tables and he won twenty-two dollars and uh, today they'll be shooting and then you'll show up at the set and you know, all these Canadians will be hanging out in their T-shirts and it's like minus thirty degrees and you're like. What is up with that? So it was very sweet. I mean, they definitely, they loved having us there, and we were, we were, we were definitely the 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 news of the moment there. You know, I I used to live in Canada, and when we were in snow, just going from your house, your front door to the uh, car on the driveway is is kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. Now to shoot an action movie, like the ice scene and all that. Now how how terrifying for you, having come from you know a much warmer client. Uh. I, I don't like cold weather. <clears throat> I don't function in cold weather very well. And luckily for me, my filmmaker didn't uh, like cold weather either. So at least I had that. I mean, when I was doing Cider House Rules in Vermont, I was working with a Swede. So co complaining about the cold didn't really get me anywhere because he was like, it's a great day. What's wrong with you? But John doesn't like cold weather either, so he really we had a lot of propane heaters and, and anything that he possibly could do for us to make it comfortable was done and when you deal with water it's just never it's never fun it's never as warm as they're going to tell it as when they when they say it's going to be 90 degrees and you're going to sweat and it's going to be wonderful it's never that so I, th I think just i'm not i'm not scared of water or working in water i just don't like the cold mixed with the water but you just do it you know it's a job Great, great, great stories. The lip balm one especially. So. <laughs>